Hi, hello and welcome to MentorLinux.com. I am Hanif and today we're gonna see how to connect the two machines, your Ubuntu laptop and the Raspberry Pi through a peer-to-peer -peer connection by st setting a static IP. So to do that, what we need to do is first open up a terminal and then take a backup of your interfaces file. Okay, now I've taken the backup of this file because uh, this is a uh, very important step. Uh, since we're changing the interfaces file, uh, if everything goes good, you'll be able to set a static IP and it will work. But in case, if you break it, then you need to have a backup file which was working just fine. So to ensure that uh, uh, everything is in a good way what I did was that I created a backup for my interfaces file and mind you this is a very important step once you do this we could go and start editing the interfaces file to do that open it up in any of your favorite uh, um, editing tool it doesn't matter I'm using VIM here and now I have edited the file when you open it up for the first time you would only find the line number six and seven that is auto L LO and interface LO inet loopback you will only see these two lines what I did was that I added these four lines first one is auto ETH zero and the second line is iface ETH zero inet static what it does is I'm enabling Ethernet zero and setting it to um, static IP so now I'm telling that my Ethernet 0 is gonna hold a static address and at line number 3 I'm setting the static IP so my address would be 192.168.10.1 and I'm setting the corresponding uh, net mask that is uh, class C net mask which is 255.255.255.0 once I've done that I need to save the file and then I have to restart with uh, the interface so to do that, I could uh, say sudo slash etc slash init.d slash networking restart. Okay. Okay. This is one command, or I could use service networking restart. This is a better option. Okay. Once you've done this, your static IP address would be set. So after doing this, what you have to do is we need to check it. If you give if config, your Ethernet zero is set with the IP address 192.168.10.1. So your uh, host machine is set with the static IP. The next step would be to set a static IP in your Raspberry Pi device. So to do that, connect your Raspberry Pi with any of the CPU or monitor, whatever uh, you are having in your home or in your office. Connect it with that and log in into it and follow the same step what I showed for the host machine. Open the interfaces, first take a backup of it, then open the interfaces. The only change that you would have is uh, that uh, the IP address the IP address will not be one it will be two okay you could you I'm using two here you could have anything from 2 to 254 anything will work from IP address 2 to 254 okay so uh, but, but keep in mind do not change the network the network has to be the same it has to be 192.168.10 after that it could be from 2 to 254 it's not a problem at all once you've done that the next step would be you restart the interface in your Raspberry Pi machine and cross check the IP address with ifconfig command. Once you've done that, come back to your host machine. Now it is the time to SSH into the device. To do that, we have to give SSH 
username pi with the address ip static ip address of your raspberry pi device now it is asking for the password you need to give it as uh, if it is a default um, raspberry pi machine which is having a default uh, password then its password is raspberry if you have changed it then give the corresponding password so now i'm into the raspberry pi device i've ssh into it so you could see here pi at raspberry pi so that's it we are in now my machines my machine is connected to raspberry pi via ssh by setting a static ip hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you just try it and if you have any doubts please give me comments uh, i will try to answer them thank you bye